Huh. I would have went with bacteria. Ah! They're everywhere! <laughs> Stuart, what a coster. Ted Jones is visiting one of the laboratories at the city health department. His brother Frank has recently taken a position as a bacteriologist with the department. Ted, I feel as if there's something that's come between us. Ted seems to be having a little trouble. Can't you get it focused on the field, Ted? Try using the fine adjustment knob. Why, yes, it is a fine adjustment. Oh! And do it more slowly. You're likely to miss the cells you're looking for, even though they may be there. Okay, I'm trying. Gosh, get off my back, Dad. Say, here they are. Pretty sure he's looking at an etch a sketch. Hey, look. Good. Good. You know what kind they are? No. All I know is that they came out of that test tube that you gave. Ah, uh, that reminds me of my mother of always said. That cause food to spoil. Ah, the space Ted lasers are melting my hair one off. Of the many kinds of bacteria. Bacteria are found almost everywhere in our environment. Some float around in the air. Like feces at a McDonald's Some restaurant. Some are in water or other liquids. Still others thrive in the soil. Bacteria are plants. But they are not green like the plants we usually see. Like cauliflower Some kinds or orchids. Are indispensable. For example, countless bacteria are at work in this clover field. Unlike the they monster in the in movie the clover field. The plant roots. Bacteria in these nodules take nitrogen from the air and change it into a form of plant food. Plant food, like steak or Other beans on toast. Other kinds of bacteria are responsible for milk or cream becoming sour. Those bastards! The development of flavor and other qualities. But not the development of flavor, flavor. And the disintegration of dead plants and animals. In fact, the effects of bacteria are so important that life as we know it would be impossible without them. So bow down to your microscopic overlords, miserable of humans. Some even produce chemicals called antibiotics that are used to help fight different diseases. Like alcoholism. Only a few kinds of bacteria cause disease. Probably the first person to observe bacteria was Anton von Leeuwenhoek, inventor uh, of one of the first one of successful these. microscopes. After looking through his crude microscope, he made drawings of the microorganisms Not he saw. Not very good drawings, mind these you. He represented organisms from tartars scraped from his own teeth. He would then use this tartar contrast, to create a delightful here, sauce using for using a fish. modern microscope, we see other microorganisms taken from tartar. Santa's back! We want to go home! After the time of Leeuwenhoek, generations were to pass before another achievement of great importance would be made in uh, the I really study of bacteria. Around to inventing the pen. It was the famed chemist I Louis really Pasteur get a of France, shot of in for my experiments. He proved that bacteria cause fermentation. This explained many of the chemical changes that go on in nature. Pasteur also proved that bacteria never develop out of dead organic matter alone, as some people had believed. We called these people he emphasized idiots. emphasized that bacteria can only come from other bacteria. Yeah, what if we put the lamb inside the coconut? Soon afterward, it was found that bacteria can spread disease from a sick animal to a healthy animal. Instead of the other way around? But this discovery was made by Koch. A German contemporary of Pasteur. An inventor this of new discovery Coke. is the basis of the germ theory of disease. Robert Koch and his assistants also learned to prepare and use nutrient materials. Nutrient materials are usually jelly-like emulsions. No, I'm just or making fluids, my lunch. Which favor the growth of bacteria. Koch made other discoveries that helped lay the foundations of modern bacteriology. Since the time of Koch, much has been learned. Mostly the classic Coke is way better. Discovered. Today, if Ted could collect all known kinds of bacteria, then no he would woman have would ever talk to him and again. The facts that have been discovered about them are exceedingly numerous. He wonders how a beginner can ever learn about so many kinds of bacteria. Frank explains that it takes a systematic approach. For example, bacteria may be separated into groups, groups according to such what as they race, live upon, gender, or political affiliation. Some bacteria are parasites. Parasites are the places others where skydivers try to land, right? And still others, autotrophs. They eat cars? 
parasites depend upon living plants or animals for food. Wait, Here am I a parasite? I depend on those things. Most bacteria that cause human disease are parasitic. Saprophytes live upon dead plants or animals or their products. Hey, Bill, how's the family? bacteria produce enzymes that cause the chemical breakdown we call decay. There are more kinds of saprophytic bacteria than of any other type. Autotrophs get their energy from minerals or other inorganic materials. Inorganic, the like Kristen Stewart's acting. The bacteria seen here live upon a form of iron. Through oxidation, they change one form of iron into another and use AKA the energy that is released. Rust. Unlike the large majority of plants, most bacteria have no chlorophyll with which to manufacture food. Can we really call Parasites, that manufacturing? Parasites and autotrophs all take in food through their cell walls. Much like the way a to prisoner will accept these cigarettes. Cell walls, the food must be soluble. In some instances, insoluble foods are converted into soluble materials by chemicals released by the bacteria themselves. All bacteria require soluble food to live. Ted thinks the information seems complicated. But then Ted but thinks Frank, toast is complicated. From experience, explains that the basic facts about bacteria are quite simple and very useful. Besides facts about the food getting of bacteria, Frank describes another type of information that is Come especially on, Ted, useful. Come on, Ted. Let's go take a look at my erotic bacteria wall Depending calendar. Depending on the structure or shape of bacteria, there are four main kinds: fighters, skill monkeys, arcane casters, and divine casters. Like these that are common in the air. The bacilli that are rod-shaped, like these from gas gangrene. Gangrene? Somebody the call the Powerpuff Girls! Spiral, like these taken from a sample of well water. And the filamentous forms, such as these thread-like ones. Structure or shape is one of the principal characteristics used by bacteriologists to classify or identify different kinds of bacteria. Different kinds, like these incredibly gross ones. The life processes of bacteria are simple. We've already seen how bacteria obtain food. Now we will consider their reproduction, which takes Pervert. place through simple division of the cells. In drawings, we can see that bacterium cells are continually growing. When a cell reaches maturity, it divides again. This goes on and on about every half hour, as long as the food supply holds out, or until some unfavorable condition slows down or stops their development. Such as rooting the mood the by playing the song of bacteria mm may be greatly affected by temperature. In a laboratory, the temperature can be controlled in an electric incubator. As Frank explains, yeah, there's let's get some a beers from the lab's mini fridge. For growing bacteria. Usually, this temperature is about 30 to 37 degrees centigrade. 37 degrees centigrade is about equal to the normal human body temperature. And if you don't know what that is in, in Fahrenheit, the temperature screw is unfavorable, you. Some bacteria, especially the rod-like kinds, have a special means of protecting themselves. They all carry tiny AR-15s. Notice the spore forming in the center of one of these bacterium cells. Some other kinds of bacteria form spores at the ends of the rods instead of at the centers. Either way, a spore has a special wall around itself. That seems <laughs> you to think you're going to make a wall joke in 22? From so passe. Conditions as cold, heat, sunlight, or disinfectant. Later, when conditions improve, the spore may change back again into the rod-like bacterium. Not many disease-producing bacteria go through a spore form. Are, are they allowed to show this on YouTube? Besides protective mechanisms, some bacteria are equipped to move about. The hair or whip-like parts attached to these bacterium cells are called you, flagella. You got the wrong slide. Wrong different slide! types of bacteria have no. different types of flagella. Such flagella oh, can we are be so moved to demonetized. propel bacterium through blood or other solutions. Not all bacteria have such means of locomotion. Well, those are just centipedes. Since the time of Leeuwenhoek, I gotta get progress myself a bigger in bacteriology telescope. has been phenomenal. His successors, such as Pasteur of France, Ah, they were out of Koch, said CVS. And Koch of Germany have made ah, now discoveries the bacteria and before putting in the oven for two hours. successfully preparing nutrient materials. Growing cultures and subjecting the cultures to tests that help identify. I and feel like Dane Cook was a test of the culture back in the 90s Today, to see if we knew in what funny was. laboratories, work is conducted that leads to the control of the relatively few bacteria that are foes of mankind. Give thanks for time. The more effective use of the multitudes that are friends. 
in order to make human life more healthful and increase our standard of living. Yes, friends, go out and hug a bacteria. We really couldn't have done it without them.